Well, I, a truss is uh, a, an arrangement of structural members that is uh, diagonally braced so that you are uh, basically using, creating a very strong shape with very little material. And so we're taking two by fours, but because we're, we're moving them diagonally across 18 inches, they might have the strength of a significantly larger piece of wood, uh, but with a, at a fraction of the weight. It, basically, the two trussed corners come together and form a, an extremely rigid corner. I did that originally on a project that we had that they wanted to do uh, um, all open, big top, just corners. And I didn't want to stand the corners on posts. And the best way to get them strong was to build an angle at the corner because the angle then had a foot this direction and a foot that direction. And then we, uh, and we ran a cable up through because it was in Oklahoma where it was going to. So we had to have cables to tie it down. So in case tornado came along, it wouldn't blow away. And so the idea was to give it long enough legs. So it's a lot harder to rip me loose if I got this holding me down than it is if I'm just a post. You can rip me off pretty easy. So it demonstrates that. And then it carries that rigidity up by using two by fours up, back and forth, back and forth, creating a truss that, and we run a cable through it, through the middle of it, that holds it, goes all the way through one side of the house, all the way through the other side, and comes down through the other truss and anchors down to the footings. It gives the house an incredible integrity considering you're also nailing the skin on the inside to it, which is three quarter inch lumber, nailing the skin on the outside to it, which is generally at least a half inch or three quarter inch siding. And by doing that, virtually you create a wooden crate on the top with a bottom that's also a truss because of the way we build the bottom. So it's trussed effectively all the way around. And literally my steel trailer bends in the middle we have a gap sometimes, we've shipped with a gap this wide where the house isn't even touching the trailer in the middle. And you can still open the door on the side. It doesn't knock it out of level or anything like that. So the, I, I just went and decided I'm gonna overkill to the point that this baby will take being rolled down the side of a hill practically and still survive. Mm -hmm. well, if I might say, a truss basically is the same as if you made a beam. And what we're doing is saying, instead of having a two by four here and a two by four over here, which we build the truss out of, by taking another two two by fours and making this web we create the effect of a four by 16 beam being there because it's carrying that load back and forth and so we get a lot more strength out of that beam than we would have gotten out of a couple of two by fours sandwiched together so that's how you increase the strength and the uh, um, durability of that with very little extra wood and so, you know, what, what we're talking about building is a, is a stable box. And so in order to do that, you need diagonal bracing in as many directions as possible. We've already talked about the subfloor being laid at an angle. That means the floor is diagonally braced. The trusses create diagonal bracing in the two directions going this way. So we have uh, five sides of a box. And then the only thing we have left is the top, which is where our roof structure goes. And uh, we also then connect loft beams that connect the two longest walls together. And then that essentially uh, creates uh, at least a partial six side where we're getting diagonal bracing. So by the time you've got all six planes uh, diagonally braced, the, the thing is very, very rigid and it's very unlikely that, that you're gonna have any twisting or, or uh, surprises when you go to transport. And we have tested this. I mean, here, yeah, put some houses through some extremes including actually having one where Renee started to lift it up in the air and as the crane lifted it up, the whole house tilted over and fell all the way to the point of within four feet of the ground and caught on the straps for the crane. And they tightened the straps back up and stood it back up again. And the house didn't get twerked out of shape or anything else wrong with it after they were done with it. But that's one of our closest calls to dropping one on the ground. And unfortunately, we didn't have a camera going on when we did it. But um, it, it, it was amazing each of the tests that these houses have gone through over the years that um, they're really designed to sustain a hit more than any other house you can buy. And I, and I like the cable thing as well. I mean, that's, that's really critical. The, and the idea there is that there's a cable running through all of the main structural elements of the box so that the box, if it's adequately anchored down into the ground via footings or some sort of auger or something like that, uh, you can create a huge amount of uh, protection from, from high winds and storms and that sort of thing. 